Hello everybody, Coach Ben here bringing you your Tuesday workout. We're just going to have one part to the workout. It's going to be a straightforward conditioning set. So gear up and get ready to kick some butt. For today's conditioning, you are going to want to make sure that your hips, knees, and ankles are very warmed up and ready to go. Here's two movements you can do to make sure that you are nice and warmed up. First one is down dog. Second for the knees and the hips is to drop into a squat position and hang out there for a while. All right, here we go. Today's set is gonna be a run sandwich. You're gonna start with the run, six rounds of movements in between, and then finish with the second run. Try to limit the number of breaks you take. Is it possible to do the whole workout with zero breaks? Let's find out. You're gonna begin with an 800 meter run, that's half a mile. If for any reason you cannot complete half a mile in six minutes, then you're gonna shorten that run down to a 400 meter run or a quarter of a mile. Once you complete the run, you're gonna do six rounds of three movements. 30 lateral jumps, 20 towel slams, 10 alternating V-ups. Lateral jumps. Might be better to think of these as hops. You want to be quick, almost like a jump rope, bouncing back and forth really fast. Stay light on your feet, land on your forefoot close to your toes, and try to bounce immediately into the next jump. There's two ways to count these, 30 total or 30 each direction. The choice is yours, choose appropriately. Up next, 20 towel slams. Grab any bath towel or beach towel and then fold it up so you got the long way. And then, so you have a little bit of resistance, you're gonna tie it in a knot, trying to get that knot right in the middle so that way it's got a little bit of weight if you have a real big towel you could do that knot twice and then you just hold either hand or either end in each hand swing that sucker overhead fold down boom getting to the ground make sure every hit is as aggressive as possible like you're trying to break something open so you get the most out of it last thing in the circuit is an alternating V up My back is being pulled into the ground, my low back sucked down. One hand's gonna meet the opposite foot in the middle, trying to get as much of my back off the ground as possible. Reset hands overhead, and then reverse. There's two ways you can count this exercise, total or per side. You know what to do. Once you have finished cycling through those three exercises for six rounds, you're gonna go back and you have a second 800 meter run. Now. You're gonna be fatigued, you're gonna be tired, obviously. The goal is to go as fast or maybe even faster than your first run. This is gonna be more of a mental test than it is a physical test. At the end of the workout, every part of your body, every part of your mind is gonna say, just throw it on cruise control, just get it done, check out, you're all, you're all but done. That is not what we're about. That's not what we're looking for. Instead, I want you to mentally engage on that second run, think about your technique, and really try to push it to the next level and see how tough you can hang in there mentally and push through to the finish line. Once you finish that second 800 meter run, that's it, the workout's over. Give yourself a high five, pat on the back. You crushed it, way to go. Uh, good job getting out there and getting after it. Gyms are almost open, so stay focused, stay motivated, get yourself ready for that. We'll see you guys for the next at-home workout. Peace.